In this question, we are asked to use theorem 2 from the textbook to find the inverse Laplace transform of this function f of s. They've got theorem 2 written up on the board. It says the Laplace transform of a step function at t equals a times f of t minus a, so f shifted a units, equals e to the negative a s f of s. Basically, this step function in the original function puts an exponential term in its Laplace transform. So, if I want to take an inverse Laplace transform using theorem 2, I want to identify this e to the negative s term and my f of s. So if I look at this, the exponential is pretty easy to pull out. It's e to the negative s. So that's my exponential term, and that makes a equal to 1. So I know when I take the inverse Laplace transform, I'm going to multiply by the step function u sub 1 of t, and I'm going to shift the function 1 unit to the left. And that leaves f of s to be 2 over s squared plus 9, which is really close to the Laplace transform of sine of 3t. I just need a 3 in the numerator. And to do that, I'm going to put a 3 up there and multiply by 2 thirds. So, threes cancel out, and I really still have two. I haven't changed anything. So this becomes sine of 3t. But I need to take into account this exponential, so I'm going to multiply by u sub 1 of t. And carry that 2 thirds down, and then I just need to swap this t for a t minus 1. So my function is 2 thirds u sub 1 of t times sine of 3 quantity t minus 1, and we're all finished.